Hey, this is Steven from Legit Mobile. Uh, I don't have the Legit Mobile t-shirt uh, printed yet, so I'm just going to use my Legit PC one. So in this video, we're going to talk about how uh, I had a couple requests asking how I capture with uh, with my tablet here. And um, I'm going to go over how I do that, a uh, quick, uh, very quick video. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go over how I capture that, what you need exactly, and some of the other supplies, etc. So, uh, how I capture? I capture using a capture card. So, I have uh, the Avery Media Live Gamer um, HD, which uh, I wouldn't actually prefer mine, because mine is a PCI Express card that goes into your desktop, so it is stuck to your desktop, and you need a desktop. If you have a laptop, it will not work. So, there is a new one Avery Media came out with called the Live Gamer Portable, which is a small cell phone sized Man, it's about like this, that you could use to capture without a PCI Express slot, and you could have it um, work even without a PC. You could have it work standalone if you have an SD card, so you could capture footage on the go, and then later when you come home, encode it and upload it, or uh, you could actually capture with PC and use a higher bit rate, so it's whatever you prefer. That's the one I would prefer, because it would be a lot easier for the mobile in order to switch in and out the outputs. So, uh, that's what I would suggest is a capture card. It is the Live Gamer Portable or whatever Avery Media calls it. Okay, uh, next thing is that when you, um, and how that capture card basically works is that you plug your, whatever you have for your uh, tablet, mine's like, I think this is a micro or a mini HDMI, it, the name of it will be in the description. Uh, and it plugs into the Avery Media, uh, sorry, into the, the, the Tegra Note 7 here, and I could get video using this. And it goes to an HDMI at the end, and the HDMI goes into the capture card, and then you're ready to capture. So now, when you buy the capture card right off the bat, and you put this guy in there, and you say, okay, capture it, and you hit the little button in the center to make it start capturing, uh, it would say, sorry, I cannot capture it. This device is captured with HDCP. It says, too bad, so sad, you cannot capture this. But you can. There's a couple ways around it. So what is HDCP? HDCP is High Definition Copyright Protection. Basically, it is there to keep you from capturing stuff out of tablets. Or, for example, you know, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. The reason why they have stuff like that is because they want people that have tablets or, you know, anything, anything like that to not be able to capture um, Netflix or anything like that out of these tablets. And for something like PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, you know it plays Blu-ray you know, Blu movies. So they don't want you to capture and redistribute those Blu-ray movies either through like, you know, Pirate Bay or, or actually on Blu-ray Disc. So, they put this protection on there that basically uh, Avery Media or any sort of capture card company has to follow that protocol, otherwise they'll get sued. So it's, it's a protocol that they have to follow. So, um, so you plug it in and you start try to capture it and it says, hey, this is HDCP protected. You can't even capture the front screen. But you can display it on an external monitor. So it's like you can display it, but you can't capture it. So what do you do? You use this guy, which is a method of HDCP splitting. Now, this guy is HDMI, I'm sorry, not split. It's a stripping, HD, uh, HDCP stripping. So basically what this guy is, is it's a splitter. And it's a one HDMI to two HDMI splitter. So you have the pl you have the plug in to your tablet. You have the plug into your tablet, and then you plug into the HDMI splitter, and then another HDMI HDMI to HDMI, not eight micro. So you have a, a standard HDMI cable comes from one of these outputs. It's got two outputs. One of these outputs into your capture card, so that you could then capture it. Now, it has to be a certain type of splitter. This guy, um, it will not. It will work on 
very few and mo all the other ones it won't work on. The reason why is you need a certain type of spec of HDCP, a certain revision or version. This guy runs on one point version HDCP version 1.3b, which is a version that w was had a flaw in the protocol to where HDCP would come in, but HDCP would not come out. So it will allow you to capture. So um, you have to find a certain one like this. I bought this guy at Fry's, and um, and I bought it for like twenty bucks. But that's how I would do it, is I would find a local store that has this type, or you could find others on the internet. This is OREI. This is a 1 to 3 HDMI splitter, HD 102, HDCP version uh, 1.3B. So you need to have 1.3B. So the problem with Fry's is that you could go there and it could say that they have it, but it's not actually inside the box. 1.3b, it will have like, you know, 1.3a or 1.3c, sorry, 1.3c, the later version, which will totally not work with this. So it's all trial trial and error. So you buy it, you plug it in, you plug it in here, and then you pl plug the power in. It comes with a power, so you need a power cable. And then you output it. Now, when you, and you see that that red light turn on, I never actually noticed that red light turn on. Okay, so that red light turns on when you plug it in there. Anyways, um, so you go and plug it in here, and you plug it out, and you see if it captures. If it says it has HDCP protection, uh, first try restarting your computer, restarting your capture card or your computer or whatever it's plugged to, and then try it again, and then see if it captures. If it says it again, then it's definitely not working. Then you go back and try to find another one at the store the, and you return this one. So the reason why you would probably not get one off the internet is you could get it and it doesn't work and now you're a week behind in how long it took them to ship it to you and then you have to ship it back for another week. So you are just went two weeks behind and it doesn't work. And So I bought this guy at Fry's. The first one worked for me. So I'll have this guy in the description and uh, I'll show you a link of what I found on Fry's to get it. All right, so, or you could get around this $20 guy right here. There's another method with a tablet where it's something called rooting, or what uh, iPhone users or Apple users, what I think they call um, jailbreaking. So it's um, getting into the software to manipulate things. So that would probably avoid warranties or whatever. I don't, I'm not completely sure. I didn't want to do it with this. I'm just going to spend 20 bucks just in case I might want to return this and get a better version. So, um, basically what you could do is you could find instructions online to root your device and then get into the software and um, disable HDCP. So you don't need this guy and you'd only need one HDMI cable. So this guy goes straight into the capture card instead of going into the splitter and going out to the capture card. But now one advantage of the splitter here is that when you have the HDMI plugged into your tablet, you will not hear it through the speakers of, uh, of your tablet. And I believe if you put the headphones in, it will not capture it through the HDMI. So you have to leave your headphones out and you have to have it go through the HDMI. So now if you don't, if you just have it rooted and you have the HDMI going out, you're not going to get any sound. You're not going to hear any sound. There's no speakers, no sound at all. So there's one way that you could do it is you could put the HDMI into the splitter. Have Since you have two outputs, you could have one HDMI going to the um, capture card and another HDMI going to something like a monitor with speakers enabled into it. So you could play it on your monitor and hear the speakers. So, so then if you don't want to watch the video of the monitor, you could just look at your screen and hear the, hear the sound. Or you could use that monitor if it's got one of those 3.5 millimeter jacks that plugs into uh, the back of the panel, your, your monitor, and it would come down and you could plug in your headphones. 
So now you're listening to the audio and capturing it at the same time because this one input is split to two. So your, your capture card is capturing one and you're listening to the other one. Or you could be watching it if you're not using touch controls. You could play it on your monitor and play it with a controller or whatever. So all said and done, it's going to be about, this guy is about $20, and then that capture card is $200 plus. So you're looking at, you know, that capture card price plus this guy plus two HDMI cables. One here for this guy, and then one out to the capture card. And so it's pretty expensive. Um, there might be some, some sort of app that you could get on your tablet to get that to work, but uh, I'm not completely sure about that. I already had the capture card because I was doing a gameplay on my computer about a year ago before Shadowplay came out. So it really helped me with my capture. Um, so it's very, very expensive. Um, and this guy could be a hassle finding the splitter or doing or rooting it so probably if I were to do it again I would probably just root it and save the cost of this and save the cost of a second HDMI cable because it would be a lot easier to switch between my computer input and this input uh, to the capture card a lot quicker Alright, so then once you have this guy working, and this guy ha comes with a power cable, so you power it on, you plug in your input, you plug in your output to your capture card, you go ahead and start a recording, and it's it starts recording. It doesn't say, it doesn't give you an error or anything like that. Then you're good to go. Now, there's a couple things is that on your tablet, is if you go to anything like a black screen, for example, if it um, does like a, where it's sitting too long, and it and it uh, dims and it goes to sleep that will cause your 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 uh, your video to cut right there and it won't record after so um, on my channel I have a lot of videos that I had to record at least three times to get a good recording one time I might not have the volume all the way up the next time um, the vo the audio captured weird or didn't capture any audio or for some reason didn't capture any video it happens a lot or, like I said, it cuts the video after three minutes, even, that I, even though I did 20 minutes of footage. So now, why this works best for me is that I can have this output here. It turns off the speakers, but still get sound through. And then I could use my desktop Blue Yeti mic to record voice over top, live voice over. So I record my, my live voice inside my computer and I record the audio of the game inside uh, the capture card. So when I go to Premiere, which is what I use for this guy, uh, when I go into Premiere, I could uh, mix the two audio pieces, set each volume dynamically, so I lower the volume of my tablet, and I um, usually keep the same or, or bring it down a little bit, my voice. So this guy will also work on something like a phone. If you don't have a tablet and you just have a phone, it will work. It fits right there inside that same adapter, depending on what you use. The Nexus 7 obviously has a different adapter. But yeah, so you need, uh, one is you need something to play, so like a phone or a tablet. Then you need a, then you need to get a capture card. So just get the capture card, try it with the tablet first or the phone, and see if it captures. If it doesn't capture, then you need to go find a splitter or you need to root the device in order to get into the software and turn off HDCP. So, now um, now you're ready to capture, go ahead and uh, enjoy that. And uh, I'll have all the links for everything in the description and any other afterthoughts. So if you guys, uh, also I'll have links to all the products and uh, with my affiliate, uh, my Amazon affiliate link there. Please buy that. Please buy all the stuff off that link. It helps me out a lot. And um, yeah, I like thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos like it. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments and I'll answer them the best I can. And I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.